One of the advantages that the Americans had vis-a-vis -vis the British, however, was, ironically enough, the militia. I say ironically because George Washington likened the militia to a broken staff. He had to lean on it, but it was undependable, destined to break whenever he really needed to put weight on it. But what Washington acknowledged in the militia was that it was more than adequate to all of the purposes of local defense. That meant that the militia served basically as the white blood cells or antibodies of the American Revolution. Anywhere British forces made an intrusion to a port community or into the back country, the militia would rise up to counter it and deal with it, oftentimes successfully enough that George Washington did not have to send any elements of the Continental Army to deal with these intrusions. In fact, he refused to do so because he wanted to reserve the mass of the Continental Army, that combat power, for offensive operations, what he liked to call brilliant strokes, the most brilliant of all of which lands at Yorktown and wins the war for the Americans.